Welcome to Wondership Filmora. My name is Sylvia and today we'll be diving into Filmora's pre-editing settings. This guide is designed for beginners and will walk you through all of the essential features, settings, and various personalized options you can find within Wondership Filmora. And by the end of this tutorial, I feel confident you'll have a true, deep understanding of the interface and will be ready to start your own video editing project. So without further ado, let's get editing. When you first open up Filmora, you'll be greeted by this startup window. Here you can obviously create a new project, look at old ones, but also see very important shortcuts to things like the Filmora Cloud or the Creator Hub, which we'll look at in just a second. But first, let's explore each individual section in detail. So right front and center, you can find a new project, which allows you to, you guessed it, start a new project. And right on top of it, you can see the aspect ratio menu. So it's defaulted to 16 by nine, which is the format you're watching this on right now. Horizontal, typically the size of your screen. You could also switch between that and nine by 16, which turns it into a short video project, which is good for YouTube shorts, TikToks, reels, stories, everything like that. That's vertical format. So you can even click to see more and do one by one, which is a square. It says good for Instagram. You can do four by three, which is the typical, like almost square size of the old TVs back in the day. You also have four by five vertical, 21 by nine, which is the long horizontal thing that you see in movies and three by four. Let's keep it on 16 by nine, which is again, the size of this video you're watching. You will also notice that right here, there's some video playing and it keeps changing. And it's basically just introducing us to the many different features you can use within Wondershare Filmora. We have smart scene cut, we have AI color palette, and many different tools that Filmora keeps innovating on and introducing to us. So you can see right now, planar tracking, we have audio to video, you know, plenty of stuff. And of course, if you're seeing this later on, we'll probably have even more. You can also right on top of that, click to open project and just open a Filmora project you have on your computer or an external hard drive, anything like that. And you can also see the local projects section where you'll find any projects you've worked on recently that are on your computer. So you don't need to go to open projects if they are right here. And we have a couple of different videos that I've done just like this one teaching you other different tools inside Filmora. So go check those out if you haven't yet. But here essentially you can quickly open up a project, you can organize them, you can right click to upload something to the Filmora cloud, open the file location on your computer, you can rename different things. If you change your mind about the title of the video, you can duplicate a project if you want to make changes but not damage the original project everything like that. That being said, let's move on to the second tab right here on the left, which is Filmora Cloud. And Filmora Cloud basically just allows you to store your projects online on the cloud. So they can be accessible between multiple devices that you use. For example, I have a Windows computer and a Mac. I may want to use different ones at different times, or you may have a laptop and a desktop that you use at home. So this feature is particularly helpful in those cases, or just in general, if you just need to back up your projects, which I highly recommend. Knock on wood, anything happens to your computer and you don't want to lose your projects. In order to use Filmora Cloud, you have to obviously log into your Filmora account, and then you'll see your cloud stored projects in this screen right here. You can simply click to open it project and just start back up where you left off. Not only that, if you subscribe to Wondershare Filmora, you can even own protection file encrypted, auto backup projects and settings, cross-platform project access, cloud media management, 
and share and review frame by frame. Next up, we have the Creator Hub. And this is essentially a gateway to plenty of different resources that they've created, just designed to enhance your video editing skills. Here you can find tutorials, different community challenges, creative ideas, stuff like this video you're watching right now will be in the Creator Hub. And it's updated regularly with fresh new content just for you. So needless to say, it's worth checking every now and then to see what you may be missing. And last but not least, we have the toolbox, which is filled with those tools that we saw in the create project to the right hand side, remember, that you can use to enhance your video editing sessions. So here you'll find a variety of different tools you can use. These include new functions like AI portrait cutout, AI voice cloning, color grading, AI stabilization, and even different enhanced screen recording features. And I know I said that was the last thing, but I lied. We have this section right here at the bottom of the left corner, which if you click on it, it will open up a new window. And here you'll find features such as referral program. If you invite your friends to Fomoria, you get a kickback. We also have things such as a creative garage, which is a collaborative space where users can share ideas, resources, and even participate in community projects. Additionally, Filmora often runs different surveys to collect user feedback and improve the tool for everyone. Still on this window, you'll find your information right here on the upper left corner. Here you'll be able to view your account, manage your subscription, update your profile details and even manage your cloud storage and if you click on here view my account it actually opens up a browser window where you can you know customize even more settings for your account specifically going back to that previous window we have some icons right here at the top that you may be wondering what they do so the first one is publish tasks so any tasks that you have processing in the background fall right here and right now I don't have any. We also have one for AI creation tasks, which same thing, anything that's using AI will show up right here if anything is going on at the moment. We also have transfer center, which shows if you're uploading or downloading anything from the cloud. So if you're backing up project to the cloud, you can see the status of that right here. You can see which ones are uploading, downloading, done everything like that. And you can select if you want it to back up automatically, which is great. Here we have the customer service, which opens up a new window with an AI assistant that can help you. And here we have a bunch more options. We have updates, so you can check if you have any updates available that you need to download. We have the user guide, feedback. We have getting the app for free and fill more cloud. Now let's actually open up a new project and see what the menu has in store for us. So here you can see at the top, we have the file menu, first of all, where you can create a new project again with the different aspect ratios. We can open an existing project. You can see the ones you've opened recently even. You can also import media, record media or even do things such as manage your overall project settings, aspect ratio, resolution, frame rate, everything like that. And by the way, I highly recommend you find the project settings before you actually start editing. So don't forget about that. Let's click OK. We also can see here the project backups feature, which is super important because it automatically backs up your project. So you don't have those issues where maybe your laptop run out of battery or something and you don't want to lose your progress. So this automatically for you, so you don't have to worry about that. You can also come right here to preferences under Wonderful Filmora and customize the tool to match your own video editing style. I know we're all very different in what we like from a video editing software. We have general where you can, you know, select the overall interface. You can see how often you want to check for updates. You can select whether or not you want it to automatically sync to the cloud and everything like that. 
under folders, you can see where each thing goes to on your computer and you can change that if needed. We have everything you record with the screen recorder. You can choose where that goes to each snapshot, backup project files, everything. If you want to have it custom to a certain place in your computer, you do that. Here's how you do it. We also have editing, which adjusts things related to the editing timeline. So every time you add a new photo, for example, to your project, it typically three seconds, but you can do five, for example, some people like that, or you can change it to frames. So it lasts X amount of frames. We have transitions, how long they typically last for. We have effects, filters, you get the gist of it. We also have the media cache where you can manage your files to improve performance and you can even clean it from time to time. Let's just do that, by the way. Enter here, clear and run. And last but not least, we have performance where you can adjust acceleration and rendering settings to fit your machine and your editing. Let's move on from this and let's look at keyboard shortcuts under file. Here, basically, you can view all the keyboard shortcuts that are available within the app. So the default ones, and you can even change them. So if you click on this and you don't want to be control or command Z, you can just type on your keyboard. So let's say command F. And, you know, it, it gives me an option to say it's already a shortcut for a different thing, but I can customize that as I please. And you can also use this just to learn the different controls, the different shortcuts. Now, going back to file, we can also use this to return to that starting window where we started off. So let's go back. You can see we're back in the new project window, but let's go back again to the new project. You can also see at the top, we have edit tools and view as well as help edit tools and view are all relevant to your video editing process, which we will cover in a different video. But here on the help menu, at last you have comprehensive support options for you to choose from. Here you can access the user guide or even video tutorials. If you're more of a visual learner, just like me. So you have step-by-step -step instructions on how you can better use Filmora. The help center is another crucial resource for you to use if you need to. It basically offers detailed FAQs, troubleshooting tips, customer service options, everything you can possibly need. And if you encounter any issues at all, feel free to contact customer service. You can do so directly from here, just in case you hit any snag, ensuring you get the help you need quickly. And once again, you can also check for updates. If you're working on a project currently, you can do so inside the help menu. And once again, at the top right corner, we have the publish tasks list. We have the project and AI creation tasks, as we've seen in the startup window. We have the layout mode, which allows you to change the layout of the editor. For example, if I want to have the default one, it looks a little bit different to the organized one. Just play around with it until you find the one that works best for you. We have the classic, which is a little bit simpler but I typically use the timeline one, which has the big timeline at the bottom. And as you can see, it just saved my project. I mean, I don't have anything in the project, but it just did that auto backup we were talking about earlier. We have the save button. We have the transfer center once again for things you're uploading or downloading. We have customer service, always handy. And then we have feedback. Once again, keyboard shortcuts, you can find that either under file or under here, we have message center and it gets creative. I love this one. And basically it just takes you to the creator hub, which we've seen before in the startup menu and is where every video like this one that I'm recording right now will be stored and many more. So if you ever need a refresh in your creativity, check this out. And of course, here you can also check your subscription. You can see when it's going to expire, how many AI credits you have, everything like that, just so you know. 
just so you keep track of it all. And that pretty much concludes our overview of Filmora's interface and pre-editing settings. By familiarizing yourself with these tools, you'll be well equipped to start your video editing project in no time and with confidence. Don't forget to explore the rest of the creator hub for additional tools and resources, just this one. And Make sure to reach out to customer service if you ever need any assistance. Thank you for watching and happy editing. I'll see you next time.